Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to do a very, very quick tutorial of how to change your language from Chinese to English on the Xiaomi uh, Notebook Pro and how to upgrade the, uh, the key from the Home Edition Windows 10 to Pro Edition so we can add that English pack. So let's go right ahead and do it without wasting any time and I'll see you in a second. All right, uh, up in a first startup, uh, you would get Cortana in, in Chinese, and I'm trying to tilt the screen so I can avoid all the possible reflections because it's high, uh, highly reflective. Um, we're gonna start just kicking next and go through the first setup, and I'm gonna walk you through how to set it up uh, and then later upgrade your uh, Windows key with uh, Windows Pro. Uh, Windows 10 Pro from home and this way you're going to preserve the current setup. Alright, ni hao. As you can see, even the tutorial is uh, entirely in Chinese. Uh, and uh, it's quite funny because, uh, you know, I understand Chinese, I, have, I know a few words and I look like I do, but I don't. Um, it's not that long to be honest and as long as you kick next 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 every time um, It's gonna be fine. You know, it's pretty much the same setup uh, in English But obviously in Chinese uh, if you know your ways around with the buttons and how to set up your wireless uh, How to click next and accept some of the uh, options they're giving you you should be fine personally I don't I don't think it's difficult even for somebody that's not been very proficient in um, installing Windows but uh, uh, you can see on the video uh, and follow those instructions so they are very very simple um, and you can you know Obviously, if you speak Chinese, it will be far, very beneficial for you to understand what exactly Cortana is tell, telling you or are talking to you in Chinese. But if you're not, it's fine. Uh, and the whole setup lasts no more than 5 uh, to, to maybe 7 minutes. After that, you'll be straight into Windows and from there, we're going to take it with the tutorial. Um, as you can see, setting up the, uh, the fingerprint sensor is extremely easy and fast. This is one of the best features I actually Setting up Windows Hello. Very quick and easy. Now we're going to move forward. I absolutely love that to be able to uh, set up your fingerprint and unlock windows on the fly without uh, having to you know, pa enter passwords or enter pin codes or anything like that. So extremely fast sensor on, on this Xiaomi and all the Pro. It is, uh, it's uh, almost done. As you can see, we are at the final stages with setting it up. Uh, Kutan is continuing to walk us through on Chinese. But all we do is just click next, next, next. Accept some of the options that is offering us or decline, obviously, if you want to. Um, and there's plenty of uh, English tutorials. If, if you're really confused, you can look through these if you want to uh, do that first uh, setup with Kutana. All right, so now the Windows is starting. Literally, uh, took about uh, no more than maybe six, seven minutes to configure everything and start, even on Chinese. You know, you don't really need to know Chinese to click next, next, next by assumption. Um, plus, if you have done any of those installs in the past, it's highly intuitive and very easy to set up. The only additional thing with this one was to set up the fingerprint, which is great, worked out super fast and uh, move forward without any problems now waiting on windows to start and we're going to try to upgrade the license key to windows pro 10 uh, and see if we can install that english uh, pack so before starting actually windows is installing some updates uh, so we're going to wait through these i'm going to pause the video and i'm going to resume after the updates are done it moves pretty fast as you can see already three percent uh, so let's see how that long that's going to take and I will resume after that. Alright, now that we have finally updated and in Windows, we're going to try to put the Windows Pro key. As you can see, everything is in Chinese. Unfortunately, I cannot read any of that stuff. But, you know, knowing Windows 10, I can navigate around and find the spot where you can place the uh, Windows 10 Pro key. I'm going to go to About. And then from here, 
Let's see, I think it was uh, one of these options. Yep, uh, right there. So we go to the key. Here I'm gonna place my Windows 10 Pro key and hit enter and we'll see what's gonna happen. Now Windows 10 Pro will come on board and we're gonna install our English pack. As you can see, after upgrading to Windows 10 Pro, uh, we're downloading the language pack, upgrading the Windows now. And as soon as this is done, I think it's at 86% right now. As soon as it's done, we're gonna apply the English as a default language. We're gonna reboot it and we'll be back in, uh, in Windows and see how that's gonna look like. But as, as done before many times, uh, it's gonna be uh, flawless. Just uh, remember, as soon as you get that key, uh, make sure to enter it. If you're buying one of those keys from eBay or somewhere else, make sure to use it right away. Sometimes uh, they give you a limited time. Uh, and make sure to, to look for a key that says upgradable. Some keys uh, they will provide you and you can use them but only uh, with uh, a fresh install. Some of them, when you look for them, it says uh, uh, possible to upgrade from Windows 7, 8, uh, Windows 8.1, Windows 10 Home. So if you see any of those upgradable, grab a key, enter it right away, and you'll be good to go. Uh, as you can see, we are now moving to Pro. I will be back in a moment when this is done. All right, so once you install your language back in your back in uh, Windows, remember to go to your control panel, then go to languages. And from here, English is gonna be the first one. You go to your options. And once you have options, you're gonna see it enabled. After that, you need to go to the advanced and here you need to select the language so English Chinese will be by default you need to switch it to English and then apply language settings to welcome screen system account and all user accounts so here you can go and do copy settings you select your welcome screen you select your user accounts and then OK after that everything will be applied in English you're gonna reboot and um, all your menus and everything will be in English. Uh, last step we need to do is to remove the Chinese language, unless some of you want it. I personally don't need it, so when you go to settings, and then go into uh, language, here we can select the region and language, and all the languages will be listed. I can go ahead, select the Chinese, and remove it after that everything else should be in English so yeah that's uh, pretty much it guys quick uh, tutorial how to upgrade your Windows home to Windows 10 Pro install your language package on English or other languages if you prefer this way you don't have to reinstall Windows from scratch um, and you know in input your key that way um, but save some time the other version, like I mentioned, is you to go ahead, reinstall it. Uh, once you log in into your account, it's gonna pick up the key uh, that you already have in the BIOS and you're gonna have active windows as well. But that's another tutorial I'm gonna do. This is for now. You have a wonderful day, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.